you all so much who have subscribed to my channel. I hit 500 subscribers today. <laughs> and while I'm blown away that there's 500 people that are interested in me documenting my crazy, ridiculous, vintage stuff and crummy, uh, cluttered areas of my home. <laughs> I'm very thankful you are here. Um, it's mind-blowing. <laughs> but I hope you find a community here and we all have fun and um, can support each other, encourage each other, and commiserate with each other when we need to. Um, so I'm, I was trying to think of something I could do uh, for a subscriber special and I thought cliche thing of answering some questions because I know I'm getting questions in my comments and it's starting to get to the point where I don't have a lot of time to answer comments. Um, I do still want you to leave comments please very much um, because I enjoy reading everyone um, and I'm trying to get back to everybody um, but yeah so let's let's do a little Q&A so below this video if you want to leave some questions as long as it's family friendly and I think we'll also do a little declutter today there's a couple of boxes from the DVD section I just unloaded that were not DVDs and <clears throat> I need to declutter them right now they need to get out of here uh, one of them was one of them is a box of random bits that like I don't know what to do with but I'll sit here and look at them and I'll figure out something I can do with them so that needs to go and then another one the other day was a little bit too hard when I saw it um, there were a few things in here that are things I just needed to process I think and then a couple questions I needed to ask um, a child of mine uh, off camera and then um, I think I'm ready to let them go now I think one or two I might have to hold on to just a little bit more but I think I can get uh, rid of things in this box these are stuffies and thankfully I found them when I did because we are having a birthday soon and I found all the things I need for the theme <laughs> that I was thinking do I buy those no I don't because we have them <laughs> so okay so let me go through these uh, stuffies first um, we got almost a full crew of Pooh Bear Pooh Bear is a big hit in our house right now so those are staying we used to have him uh, cuddle those when he was a wee baby see these are what's really hard like this was always with him when he was a little baby but I and he's gonna be this for Halloween <laughs> too. I remember the day that uh, we went in took us a little while to find a pediatrician and we went in uh, took this in the baby carrier and the pediatrician's name was Fox and I was so sleep deprived that I didn't even put two and two together <laughs> and when we walked in he says oh you have a stuffy of me <laughs> so that was really cute <laughs> but there's another baby out there somewhere who needs this I'm sure <clears throat> now this one is a little different this is a squirrel it was his squirrel he teethed on it he he carried it everywhere for a while so I think that fits with the Pooh Bear theme right now. So we're gonna keep the squirrel. <sighs> this was my daughter's baby. Oh. <laughs> Before we got into American Girls, this was baby. And my daughter used to call her baby girl. That was her name. And, uh, my son was interested in her for a little bit, but then he found another doll that he's more interested in. So I think um, 
And I know, I'm pretty sure my mom got two of these for my daughter because my daughter was infatuated with the idea of siblings for a while. So I think we're going to say goodbye to baby girl because my daughter's very much more interested in the other dolls she had when she was littler. So, bye baby girl. It's been good knowing you. And I hope you get another really nice family. Okay. All right, this guy was mine. Fun fact? Hi ho, Kermit the Frog here. So, um, I'm not even sure my son knows who Kermit is. <laughs> Assembled in Mexico. Um, but he's, he's kind of a household mascot. So I think for now, Kermit has to stay. He, he will, uh, reside on my bookshelf or something because he's just he's rad I love him he's felt um, he's just the bees knees the tadpoles little tail I don't know <laughs> but this is another thing that was my son's and I have to say it hasn't been played with since he could fit in a stroller. He used to teeth on this a little bit. So I think George is going to move on to a, another family. Hi, George. Here's another one that makes my son giggle. Did I forget to mention that it's the 500 subscriber special? When you enter a comment below, I'll choose a name and you have the opportunity to win this. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I think I think baby Ernie. Um, yeah. Oh, that's way too bad. Okay. So this is, uh, if you don't know Frozen, then you don't know Sven, and uh, he talks. <laughs> and growls, and he, he's just cute, but we have the movies, so I think we're good. I think Sven can go to another home. <clears throat> Sock monkey. Um, I know this was a gift from a family member, um, and I don't think he's seen it since he was little, so I may put it with, it's got a little velvet heart, um, and, and it's a simple doll, you know, so, um, that's kind of our vibe around here is simple, so I think, um, I may put Sock Monkey with the couple other dolls that we have in our bed, um, and we'll see if he gets played with or tossed with. My daughter's pointer finger. <laughs> she has a running joke with my dad about pointer fingers. So this is a pointer finger. And I have another empty box. Woo so um, I forgot to ask about this. So I will need to ask her about this. Baby faces. Uh, okay, I think we're done with that. Let's see. Sorry, you're getting a Spanish lesson in the back there. Sorry. <laughs> um, this is a book that came with our pickler. 
3, 4, 5, 6, 1. And we're not quite ready to get rid of our pickler yet, but I think we're going to pass the book along. I want to be that family that saves loose parts for building and things. But in case you live in like a big hurried city or a place where you've completely lost faith in people. I live in a small town and um, we were at our post office one day and there was a woman there that was kind of um, awestruck at the gap, the age gap in my children. So she was downsizing and that, that's kind of the best thing about our community is we have a, a wide range of ages so you get to know octogenarians or you get to know people who are almost a hundred. When we moved here we were studying World War II with my daughter and um, so many people we met had served in World War II or had were kids when they were when World War II was a thing and so she got to hear so many stories from people so anyway uh, we're at the post office and this woman said she started asking my daughter if she was happy to have a little brother and of course you know yes <laughs> and did she read to him and how important it was to read to him and even though he was small he was just walking and um my daughter was oh yeah we we have books to read to him and so this woman asked me she says can i have your email or your phone number and i said why and she says but it's that type of place that you can kind of give those things still to people and so i just asked why and she says i have a stash of kids books I was a teacher, I was a daycare person, I raised my own children, and we're downsizing, and I don't need all of these books anymore, and I'm happy to um, pass them along if you'd like. And she says, I have one out in the car to give you. And I'm, okay. So she gave us a collection of Dick and Jane books, and it came in this beautiful little, it's a Dick and Jane library, and it came in this little basket. Now, I was very excited that she was going to give us a ton of books and the prospect that they could be a really cool old books, like a lot of older books for kids, a lot of the older stories that I search for now that I can't find. Um, but then also, thankfully, she never called or got in contact with me because we never got a call about books. I can't. There were a few things here you'll see eventually that I would come specifically out here um, and look for Free Cycle or Craigslist because there were older people downsizing and getting rid of their things and just the art supplies and the craft supplies and the cooking supplies and the books. They were all from, you know, 40s on late 40s on and it was just at the time oh, I loved it but now yeah I mean at the time it was clutter as well but now it's just it's not something I can continue to manage <laughs> so I know we have all of these books somewhere and um, we can pull hold on to this little gem here and we have plenty of pins. Um, whose shapes and colors? Well, how fun is that? That would be a fun party game, wouldn't it? Whose shapes and colors? Hot dog. This is a Christmas ornament. This is a toy. Oh, this is the tent we used for our Native American sensory bin. It has popcorn in it. Okay, so that'll probably get pulled out again for Thanksgiving, for play. Okay. Hmm, this is one of my trivets. I wonder why I have trivets missing. 
here is a mouse. Um, bees. We were just talking about this type of stuff for sensory play. But this is... These are, um... They're a nice assortment of beads, but they have all the really tiny beads in them, like Native Americans use for their design work. And I don't, their, their bead work. And I don't really wanna mess around with that. I think we're um, donating. Ruler, garbage. I'm rich, a quarter. <laughs> and an empty box. Yay! That's fine and dandy. Okay. Wow. Okay. Um, and then today the uh, box has arrived for putting these guys away. So that's on my list today as well. So thank you guys very much again for uh, helping me reach one of my milestones so I'll give like a couple week a couple weeks to this video uh, for questions to pop up and then I'll record a, a Q&A with you guys thanks again for being here I really appreciate it and thanks for all of your words of encouragement and all of your advice take care and have a happy Halloween